quick. Oh man, I almost just scratched them. Could you imagine how pissed off I'd be mm -hmm. if I just dropped these mm -hmm. things? <laughs> <laughs> the amount of spit that just got on my face is Sorry. ridiculous. <laughs> So we have our fork right here, completely rawed out and stripped down of all of its anodizing. It was purple before, obviously now it is completely bare. The clamp was pink. I didn't like the pink so far. So we're actually gonna be doing the clamp in green to match the deck because we have the bars, which are not these bars, they're an old Max Peters bar. That is gonna be purple to match, well, it's already purple, but it's gonna match the fork. So it'll go bars purple, clamp green, Headset purple, deck green, fork purple, wheels. Well, we don't know yet, but we're trying. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, nice to see you again. You need a heal? I need everything. Okay. <laughs> Definitely wanna make sure that this is the right color. I don't wanna screw this up, but I don't think I have anything that is like a, a, the correct color that I'm trying to get, which is a bummer. We'll do that, that green and then the violet DS. Oh man, I'm freaking stoked. Three to four days, she said, so all the colors will be completely vibrant now as opposed to being kind of faded like the deck was. Like I said, I wanna make sure that this scooter looks perfect. They only have one color green that I could go with, which was fine. I, I chose the only green that they had. So um, as for the purple, they had three different choices. One was really dark and I was a little scared to go with that one. So I went with the, a, little, a little bit brighter one that was more of an actual purple. It might be a little bit of a cold purple, which that might sound confusing confusing to some of you, but it's more like a bluey kind of purple as opposed to like a reddish purple like it was before, but it's always so difficult to tell right when you're looking at colors on an actual computer screen as opposed to them being anodized, but we'll see. All I can do is cross my fingers and hope for the best. Stop number two for the day. Okay, so we are now over here at Scooter Zone in Riverside and I have something very, very special to show you guys right now. These are, this is a big slice of pizza. That's what this is. Pizza time. <laughs> These are the bars that we just got powder coated recently over at Affinity. Shout out to John and Chris over at Affinity for getting these done for me. They look absolutely awesome and I've showed them here on the channel. But as you guys can tell by the title of this video, not about the bars. Today is about the grips and I have the very, very first e edition, edition, it's not edition, it's edition. Good job, Ray, you idiot. I have one of the first edition Envy grips that are brand new. New, they're actually blunt grips back in the day, but I don't think it was the, the very first, but I know it was one of the earliest versions of scooter grips that Envy ever made. And I'm thinking and assuming that these are the grips that were on the scooter originally. Because when I got the scooter, they had ODI grips, which did not come on these Envy bars originally. So the fact that I still have these is a godsend. <laughs> but before I show you guys these grips, we got Steve over oh, here. Right. Why do you look Chinese when you do that? I don't know, dude. I thought <laughs> do it I again, do it again. Oh, I'm mad! <laughs> so you're showing them something special? Yeah, the grips. I, I think I know what it is. What? My new stash. Oh my gosh. Dude, look at this stash, bro. <laughs> Steve has not, have you seen this scooter at I, all? I honestly, I don't have notifications on. Wow, that was rude. I was joking! Steve has not seen any of the progress of the bars and he has not seen these bars in person at all. So we're gonna show Steve the very, very, we're gonna give him his first look at the freshly powder coated Max Peters Signature Envy bars. And what they also don't know is I'm an Envy fanboy. So I knew exactly what these bars look like when they first came out. He knows. Yes, I do. Okay, I'm gonna tell you something right now. These bars do not look like they did originally when they came out. Okay. There, I like the color more than when they did when they originally came out, but you can be the judge of that. You can be the judge. Okay, here we go. You guys already know what the bars look like. I wanna get Steve's reaction really fast. Dang it. And three, two, one. Oh my gosh, you idiot! Hey, wow. These are, what are you talking about? This doesn't look like how they looked. I don't think it's the same color, is it? Um, or is it close at least? I think it's more of a translucent. I think- No, I this think... is like exactly the same. Really? I, I almost say identical. All right, maybe I'll, I'll a take little, that. Maybe like a little bit? Like a little trans more translucent, I think. Like I think it's, I, I don't think it's exactly on, but I think it's pretty dang close. I'll put a picture right here for you guys that want to know what they looked like originally, but um, you guys can be the judge. Does that look like it? Yes or no? Click that card right now, let us know. Are these pretty close? I think they're close enough. I mean, they're still purple. I literally think they are the same exact color. I'll take that. I think you're tripping. Okay, I'll, I'm, I'm tripping apparently. <laughs> 
here are the grips that we have for the scooter. Now, this is the only part that you guys are gonna see actually go on the scooter prior to us putting the entire scooter together because I wanna put these grips on tonight just to get the full effect of the bars, at least being that we've already showed these off a whole bunch. So, I also have the bar ends, which is so freaking rare to have both of these brand new plus the bar ends. A lot of you guys might say, oh, I have these grips, I have them, blah, 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 but I don't think a lot of you guys are gonna have them that are gonna be brand new, plus green is the exact color that we need. I just so happen to have these at my house in my stash. So these will be going down. But my stash is this cool Steve's stash. Lucy, your stash, Steve. Dude, look at it right here. Stash, Dude, stash. Yeah. We also have a few sheets of grip tape. Now the grip tape that I had didn't, it's not quite as pretty. It's kind of bent up a little bit, but I did find a couple that were pretty new. This one is cut out to the perfect size of the deck that we have, I believe. I'm not sure if the length is the exact same length that it used to be back in the day, but we're gonna find out when I get the deck back. But as of right now, the deck is at the anodizer. Like you guys saw earlier, I dropped the deck, I dropped the scooter fork and the clamp off over at the anodizer. They should be ready within three days, they said, so fingers crossed I'll be able to get them in exactly three days. But I wanna throw these things onto these bars really quick. I might have to cut the slit taller when I do put the bars on the scooter, but right now we're just gonna throw these on see how she looks. These grips are not gonna be the same color as the deck. The deck is an anodized green, not a rubber green. So just so we all are clear and aware of this, these aren't gonna look exactly the same. But when they're at a distance, they'll look good enough because it's still gonna be purple and green together. Quick, oh man, I almost just scratched them. Could you imagine how pissed off I would be if I just dropped these things? That'd be the end of the video. We're cut. <laughs> The amount of spit that just got on my face is Sorry. ridiculous. Oh my gosh, there's so much spit on your lens. All right, grip number one, installed. <laughs> you think you're so cool, don't you? Tricks, bro. Get these bar ends in. Boom. <laughs> Hold up. Sweet. Grips are officially on the bars. Again, like I said, this is the only part that you will see together. Everything else is gonna stay apart from the entire scooter before we put it all on. I'm so stoked that I had these grips at my house in brand new condition. Never ridden before ever. I didn't have the package um, actually put on the grips when I grabbed these grips originally, and they just so happened to have the bar ends. These we cannot drop. Can't drop these, cannot, we can't scuff these ones. We'll have a problem. Feel these things, dude. Phillies. Tell me, tell me it doesn't throw back a little bit. Oh my gosh. Yeah, dude. They, these, these are the grips that I had when I first got on Envy. And when I bought my first real pro scooter, I bought these grips. I believe it was stripper bars. Stripper bars? I remember it stripper was, bars. It was stripper bars and that black Envy deck, which I actually have. The Blunt Envy deck. The Blunt Envy deck. I actually have that. Steve has the exact same deck that we are putting on this scooter back from when he rode it originally. Was that your very first Envy scooter? That ever? was my very first pro scooter and Envy scooter. Oh, really? It was your first pro scooter ever, like your yes. first custom pro built, actually done correctly scooter. That's pretty sick. Didn't know that Steve's first scooter was an Envy. That's pretty cool. Now that we've got this all taken care of, I definitely want to go out and I want to get some riding done. It is currently about 1 a.m. over here at Scooter Zone. Steve and I started talking about some YouTube stuff and we got warped. But without further ado, let's get some clips. One thing I don't usually ride at all, our rails. I figured why not give these a shot a little bit and try to get a little bit better here at Scooter Zone on this little flat handrail. Flat handrail? Flat rail. Sorry guys, I can't talk. This one does move a little tiny bit, so I gotta try to hit this as straight as possible because I'm definitely gonna fall if this moves at all. First things first, let's start it off with just a nice simple board slide. Okay, it actually slides decently well, thank God. All right, how about a front board? Okay, now that we got the board slide, the front board out of the way, let's get a lip slide really fast. Boom. This rail kind of goes up on this side, so let's try to do a trick on and trick off. So we'll start it off with a board slide heel whip, and then we'll come right around, turn around, and try to get a bar spin to front board. First trick is a board slide heel whip off of the rail. Easy. Now bar spin front board slide. There we go. Much better. It moved, definitely moved, not straight anymore. Stupid thing, stay straight. Stay there. You too, on the line. There we go. Quick bar twist flat. How about a whip front board? Let's see if we can get that one within three tries. I suck at this trick, but we'll try. All right, here we go, whip front board. Whoa, wasn't a very good front board, but first try, well, I'm counting it. <laughs> 
One front scoot, how about two in a row? All right, three in a row maybe? Sweet, three in a row. And all first try, definitely taking that. You know a trick that I've wanted to do for a very long time here at Scooter Zone but haven't done on the step up? A 720, I have not tried it on the step up yet. I don't know why, but I wanna try it the next time I come. And of course have my knee pads on cause this is sketchy feeling to me already. Let's see how many back to back flares we can do on this little half pipe section right here. The most I have ever done is 13. I'm not doing 13 right now because I'll probably throw up. <laughs> Here we go, starting off. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'll stick with five. That's good enough for now, I'm getting dizzy already. Oh God. I've done a bunch of flares in a row tonight. I've done three whip front scoots in a row tonight. Let's see if I can get, I'm, I'm gonna really take this one out. I'm gonna go way out on a tangent here, but I'm gonna try to do 10 kicklesses in a row, fly out, on the resi ramp. If this works, you guys gotta like the video. You have to. 10 kickasses in a row from me, that's never, that's never been done, never heard of. <laughs> All right, kickless number one. Starting off with the bar spin in, turn around, and yes, okay, one, out of the way. Number two. Yes, two, three. I'm already at three. That's already like my best record ever. <laughs> a lot of you guys are probably thinking like, this guy sucks if he can't do 10 kicklesses in a row. I know, I suck at kicklesses, okay? You should know this by now. Dude, I'm freaking killing it, that was four. Five, I'm getting better, yeah. Woo! No big deal, just a pro rider freaking out over five kicklesses. You suck. Hey, you suck, shut your mouth. I've done five. Hey, watch how good my kicklesses are right now, just watch. Six. You see what I'm saying? Dude, what? Six, you baby. Really want to kick us? Hey, I don't suck that bad. Seven, lucky number seven. Coming up. Dude, that one was freaking good. That looked like I could kick us. That was fire. That was, that was, that was, that was, that was pretty good. I did a whole heel and then a whole tail up. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Okay, well, I was close. Just let me, just let me, just let me dream, okay? Hey, you see that whole tail up, whole tail up. Yeah, you got to wake up right now. I'm this one. <laughs> number eight. Oh my God. Hey, my lady, did you oh, say no? Great morning. If I get these, if I get these last two, nine and ten, you gotta hook a flare in the foam for me on your feet. Actually, no, a three flip. Number nine. Dude, I'm catching them like a boss, baby. Watch out, watch out, Coda. You suck. John Marco ain't got nothing. Number ten, ladies and gentlemen, the moment of truth. Ah! Ah! Let me see it right now, right now. Hey, that wasn't bad though. I mean, you would have died, but that wasn't bad. 10 kickasses in a row. I've never in all of my days done 10 kickasses in a row. I'm just on one right now, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, I'm dreaming. I'm just having a good day. Even though it's 1.30 in the morning, we're over here at Scooter Zone and Steve is trying to go to sleep on the rice ramp. But thank you guys so much for watching as always. If you guys don't already, make sure you do subscribe or at least consider it. And if you enjoyed today's video, click that like button. I hope that all you guys did enjoy. And Steve, thank you for being here. It's always a pleasure riding with you, man. And until next time, I'm out of here. Later. Oh, wait, hang on. Okay, later.